Welcome, let's take a look at our top story for the big news development of the day. The date has been set for President Jacob Zuma's challenge to State of Capture report. The date for the review has been set down for October 24 to 26, which is uncomfortably, uncomfortably close as, uh, to the ANC's scheduled elective conference. President Zuma had taken Tuli Madonsela's state capture report on review in February this year, and no clarity yet if the incumbent public protector will oppose or support the review. Political analyst Sipo Siepe joins us over the phone line. Good evening, uh, Mr. Siepe. The date for the review has been set for October. Zuma filed for review in February. Uh, do you believe that uh, the hearing is very delayed given the importance of the state of capture narrative? No, I don't think so, unless there is evidence to suggest that there was a deliberate uh, move to bring it closer to the conference. Uh, it is not unusual for the court uh, to move faster on some cases, and in some cases um, you might actually assume that there's a political motive. But uh, I don't think uh, the state of capture report uh, is uh, as damning uh, as uh, it is suggested in the sense that it has not made any findings and it has not even made any uh, remedi ask for remedial action other than to suggest certain actions. It is those actions that the president will be challenging, but it will also be challenging his right uh, of uh, uh, response to some of the things that were said about him. But I also think... Um, He'll not be the only one. I suspect that uh, even ESCOM would uh, want to uh, state its case because it has argued that by the time the report came out, it appeared that the report did not look at the tons and tons of information and boxes that were sent to the public protector to look at. So everybody, even those who are supporting the public protector, do not deny that this appeared to have been a hurried work and incomplete work. And I don't think the previous public uh, uh, protector can claim that uh, the work was completed. Hence, uh, she suggested that there should be some action that should be taken to pursue whatever she was pursuing because uh, it did not work, uh, uh, it didn't fit into her time schedule. The time as the public protector was up but she wanted to go out in a bank. Do you believe that the date is uncomfortably close to the elective conference, uh, given the possible repercussions of the state capture narrative? Well, I think um, if the court uh, rules in uh, a manner that suggests that the work was shoddy, the work was rushed, and that the proper work should be done or should have been done, I don't think it will affect much. But also remember, the people who are running for office in the AHC are not uh, implicated in any way to the state capture report or state of capture report. These are people who were outside to it and who were uninvolved. So I don't think uh, it will affect them. It might affect those who support them, but it is a, a different thing to accuse people by association. Uh, people who will be contesting will be contesting in their own right. They will not be contesting with those who support them. Uh, in many ways, the state capture report has been taken as final uh, without any of the recommendations or necessary investigations. Will you give us your opinion on this? No, I don't think it is final. I think there has been a suggestion in the report that the president or there should be a judicial commission of inquiry that in itself suggests a lack of finality of the report. So I don't think we should actually take it as final. It might be final depending on what the court says. If the court finds that the, the work was shoddy, was rushed, the court might uh, not even insist on uh, the work being redone. It might also, uh, there's an issue that is also being raised there, that the, the, some of the remedial action that is suggested is itself unconstitutional because it requests uh, the chief justice to appoint a judge who then will be endorsed by the president. And the chief justice has uh, spoken about this matter even before it came to court. 
that he found it uh, problematic. So he understands fully well that uh, there is a, a, the constitution is very clear about who can set the judicial commission of inquiry. It is not a, a function that can be delegated to any other person. But uh, in this day and age, we we are we should not be surprised when we have new interpretations of the constitution. Thank you very much for that. That was Mr. Sipo Siepe, political analyst, joining us here on ANN7.